What's going on, people? Joey Talks Boxing, another video. I want to talk about Tyson Fury and all his shenanigans. And I know this just sounds like a broken record at this point, but he just he keeps giving you stuff over and over again. This guy is probably the number one heavyweight in the world in terms of ability. But for me, I have to rank Usyk as the number one heavyweight because Usyk is defending his titles and constantly fighting legitimate opposition. Where Tyson Fury does not do that. If Ultrasor last year, fine, you wanted to have your home come fight, easy touch, end the year, whatever. Now this year, you have not fought, and you're going to come back, and you're going to fight a guy, Francis Ngannou, who is an MMA fighter. I'm tired of all of the shenanigans. I'm tired of the nonsense. Then he goes on Stephen A. Smith show, first take, ESPN. He says, after this fight, who are you going to fight? You know what he says, Tyson Fury? I'm going to fight John Jones next. Anthony Joshua, nah, he's not worthy. Deontay Wilder, nah, he's not worthy. You know, God forbid they ask him about Usyk because, you know, he's definitely not worthy. It's just ridiculous with this guy. And it really, really makes it hard to be a fan of his. He's made it very, very difficult. I said this to somebody the other day. He's no different than Jake Paul at this point. Jake Paul fights MMA guys who he can, you know, beat. Tyson Fury fights MMA guys who he can beat. He was somebody who at one point was my favorite fighter, but at this point I can't I can't rock with him. He better fight Usyk or somebody credible after this Ngannou gimmick. He better do that. And I understand he's saying, oh, I don't care about legacy. I only care about the money. Okay, fine. Then the WBC should strip him the title. And if he does not fight Usyk, he will always be looked at less in the boxing community. His legacy will not be on par with the other greats of the past like Joe Lewis, Muhammad Ali, Larry Holmes, George Foreman, Joe Frazier, Mike Tyson, Rocky Marciano, Jack Dempsey, uh, Lennox Lewis, Vladimir Klitschko, so on and so on. Uh, Evander Holyfield we could throw in there. Uh, there's so many names, but people ask about where he stands in history. How could you stand in history when you aren't even clearing out your own era? Like, what? What? It, it's, 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 it's shameful. Uh, I'm just getting tired of his nonsense. The public wants you to fight Usyk. Go do it. He didn't want the Usyk fight because he wanted Joshua to win because that would have been a more lucrative fight and then he could have done an undisputed bash you know, between him and Joshua. Usyk fighting Joshua and beating him twice really ruined everything for Fury. Now Fury might do the fight with Usyk, but it's like, ah, it's not as big. People aren't as interested in it. So yeah, it's unfortunate for the boxing public, but I want an undisputed champion. We haven't had one since 1999, since Lance Lewis beat Evander Holyfield. I want one. But let me know what you guys think. I'm just tired of all the Tyson and Fury shenanigans. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.